I've been asked, can I explain quantum physics to a five-year-old? Quantum physics. I don't know. I'll try. Ordinary physics is physics of the large, of objects and motion and energy and things that feel right, that we can use our sensibility to figure out what's going on. Why does that work? Because we evolved in the presence of ordinary physics. You let something go, it drops. That's normal physics. But when we look to smaller and smaller scales, to molecules, to atoms, to particles, to nuclei, a whole other world of physics manifests to us. It's called quantum physics, where particles don't exist as discrete entities. They're also waves. And where might you find them? Well, you can't because they might be here, they'll disappear and show up there. Nobody understands quantum physics intuitively. No, no, because our intuition was honed on the plains of the Serengeti trying to not get eaten by a lion. That's where our senses were forged. They were not forged in the company of what atoms and molecules do. So just come to embrace the fact that the most successful theory of the universe we've ever had, quantum physics, defies common sense. That's freaky. But I can live with it because it's what gives us our entire information technology revolution. There is no creation storage and retrieval of digital information without an exploitation of the quantum. So. Nobody understands quantum physics. And in fact, I'll, I'll say it before I'll say it again. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you.